Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Everledger and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. So in today's video, I have a little gameplay, weapon gameplay. Um, it's not a review, but it's going to be kind of a review on four different weapons, and that's going to be the new Trader's Van weapon. So if you guys did not know, we had a new Trader's Van come into the game a few days ago, and I'm basically going to be using all of these in one video instead of doing separate videos for every single one of them. Just to sum it up a little bit, because uh, I'm just going to say it now, these weapons are not my favorite weapons in the game. So that being said, make sure you just go ahead and leave a like, and I will hop right into this video. So in the backup section, we have the pulling sucker gun, which you can be see this weapon. It used to be in Fortnite, the grappler. So there's that right there. The fire gun of 44, capacity of 1, mobility of 50, power capacity of 45, single shots, pulling towards target, and 4 times zoom. In the melee section, we have the healing staff, which has an attack of 74, mobility of 65, power capacity of 45, magic damage, damage radius, movement speed. You see it right there. It also has area damage and teammate healing. Then we have the Cloud Launcher, which has a firing rate of 71, capacity of 10, mobility of 50, power capacity of 45, sticky mines, contact detonator, and chain damage. And then lastly, in the sniper section, we have the Witch Doctor with a firing rate of 76, capacity of 12, mobility of 50, power capacity of 45, single shots, teammates healing, and 8 times zoom. So there it is right there. Let's go ahead and hop into a game and see how these weapons perform. I'm going to go back into, now let's go to Arabian Dust for this game, and to battle, and I will see you guys as soon as I'm loaded up in this match. So the first thing I might want to say is, yes, these weapons are extremely unique. Um, Yeah, they are a little bit overpriced. As at about my level, they're about 2,000 coins for every single one of them with a little sale on it. I believe that's a 30% sale coming off of it. Um, I'm just going to say it now. Lots of you guys probably already know this. Lots of these weapons are a little um, underwhelming, I, I would say. That's kind of the best thing I can say. Got a kill right there. Uh, all of these weapons span to be about a three or four shot kill. I'm just going to say it right there. Um, so, yes, if you are looking for a good challenging weapon, these weapons could be great for you. But if you're looking for something that can really just dominate your games, um, yeah, you might want to take a look at a different weapon because that is not what these weapons are for. So we go right here. I'm going to show off this weapon right here, the Grappler or whatever the crap it's called. I forget the name. I'm just going to call it the Grappler. I love this weapon. It's very fun to use. It's just it's not the most effective as in damage. Um, if you can't hit your shots and you have great accuracy, this weapon can be great for you, but I personally don't have great accuracy. So this weapon right here, one thing they do not note about this is that if you look over here, click it, it has a traveling effect on the shot. So you're going to have to be really, really good with aiming and your timing with this weapon if you are going to use it because, well... Uh, I'm not good at that, and I'm not that great at that, so this weapon is really not good for me. So we go. I'm going to come over here and see if I can just get a kill and see what happens. Major Tom got him, and let's see what happens. And let's see if I get a kill with this thing right here. All right, you know what? There we go. There we go. Come on, got him. Let's go. Major Tom, you're gone. And right here, and see if I can get some more kills. There we go. Come on. Give him more, some more kills. Dang it. Okay, so yeah, this weapon, you would expect it to be a two-shot kill. Honestly, it's a four-shot kill. Um, So, if you're in a really, really tight map, it might be pretty good. But in maps like this, it's really not that useful. So, I'm just going to come over here and see if I can get Major Tom with the Cloud Launcher. This weapon was my, the one I was most excited for. This one was the, one of the fan-made weapons. I was extremely excited to use this. I was hoping... I honestly thought it was going to be a uh, heavy weapon. I did not think it was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be like the Manga Gun or something like that. But I was completely wrong with that. Um, it's a four-shot kill or a three-shot kill. Um, don't remember which one, but it's one of those. It's not as powerful as I thought it would be, if I'm being completely honest. There we go. We're going to come over here and see if I can just get some kills. Um, so, yes, the mine effect is great on it. Um, that's how I got most of my kills when I did a 1v1 with one of my friends. Um, but... Other than that, I can't really get kills with it. So there we go right there. I got a kill with the mine effect uh, on it. Um, so that's honestly the best part about this weapon. If you do, if it's any close range map, this weapon is probably going to be pretty freaking good. So we go back with the witch doctor. Um, I have not noticed the healing effect for the teams. I did not. I thought I had a healing effect for yourself, not for your teammates. So that was where I was kind of confused with because how is it going to heal your teammates? I'm not entirely sure about that. But because um, with this one, you have the aura around it where it heals them. And I'm not even sure how much it heals them. I haven't even seen that yet. I haven't even, I haven't noticed any differences because generally when I see one of my teammates who's been taking a lot of damage, I go to them and they just get like one shot right after it. So we go right over here. Let's see if I can get a kill with 
this weapon right over here. Whoa! That's one fun thing about this weapon. If you hit someone, you can jump if you have double jump boots. And it's great for that because you can get huge air on them. So there we go. I had five kills total. I'll do a little bit more of a match. I'm not going to do an entire match because I don't want this video to get too terribly long. So there we go. We're in a game. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk my overview thoughts on each weapon. This one right here, it's a really fun weapon to use, especially if you're like 1v1ing people because you can just jump around like this. And it's really annoying to them. And if you jump, use a double jump on it, you can get pretty high with this weapon and there you go right there as you can see this weapon right here i think it's going to be really really good in raids if you have the right modules on it because you can heal your teammates and obviously healing your teammates in raids is very very important and very helpful it's a very, very crucial thing you need to have because then well you guys have more health and so you can get further without dying and then respawning and all that stuff the Cloud Launcher is honestly a very, very interesting weapon. It's just not the most powerful. I wish it had a little bit more power to it, but it simply does not. It's, make, it's one of those weapons that really only be good in like hallways and stuff with the um, with the mine effect on it. But other than that, I mean, I can't really say much good stuff about this weapon. So that's the Cloud Launcher. Yes, it is a fan-made weapon. I feel like they really should have done a little bit more power for it to really just... um help that fan whoever made this weapon a little bit happier with that because it is his weapon um and i doubt he wanted to be a four shot headshot and a four shot body shot so there we go right over here got him and see if i can get this kill real quick and i got someone behind me right over here and yeah now the witch doctor this thing has to be the most overhyped weapon in this entire trader's van um it looks amazing i was very very excited to play with this weapon and test it out and then when I got it and realized it's a four, a three to four shot headshot and a three to four shot body shot as well, I did. I was not too happy with that. Uh, it's a lot of money. It's two thousand coins for one weapon with this, and when it's three to four shot kill, no matter what, it's not really worth it. Now, yes, it does look pretty cool, and it is really, really interesting. They're all very, very unique weapons. Probably the most unique weapons we've seen in the game in a very, very long time. But are they worth it? I'll leave that to for you to decide. Um, to me, with my playstyle, it's really not. If you are someone who just loves going out with challenging weapons, yes, this, these weapons would be great for you, but I'm not one of those people, so they're not that great for me. So anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right there. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below what you guys think about all of these weapons. Um, fully each one of these let me know what you guys think because i would love to hear y'all's opinions as well if you guys do want to see more content make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notifications and if you guys do want to support my channel the best and easiest way to do that is to simply just share my content wherever you can with that being said i hope you guys all had a very blessed day and i will see you all in the next video